Hi, good morning. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is Escape Forever Free. I'm your girl Faith. Here at Escape Forever Free, we are stepping out with faith to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. If it's your first time joining us, a very special welcome to you. We're happy to have you, and we hope that the Holy Spirit will move you um, according to your own um, allowing of the Holy Spirit to do the same and that you'll join us for support therefore you'll subscribe and stay with us so you can be supported in this very difficult journey as we come so close to home we also want to say a special welcome back to all of our subscribers we are happy that you are part of our family and also those who are returning even though you may not have subscribed and you're feeding from the substance that we're getting here may god continue to bless each of our efforts um this particular video is our one hour alone time kickstart devotional guide so it's dedicated to encouraging us to spend time with god at least at least one hour every day so you choose your best sacrificial time and you do this video and at the end of it you continue for one hour you and god alone so this video serves to propel you and to motivate you and to give you a push start into doing that each day all right so we're going to go into our routine in this kickstart devotional season we are using the great controversy the 1888 version a prophetic book to do or kickstart devotionals we also use the king james version of the bible alongside to make references highlights etc we also encourage that you study the bible astutely um, as you do your alone time with God and outside of that time to seek after truth and light without being careless and reckless in any way with your salvation. We pray also that as you continue to invest that you will um, and draw near to God that God himself will draw near to you and you will truly find contentment in being um, a true and genuine follower broken before the cross a true and genuine follower of God and that you'll surrender everything to him and trust him more than you trust your very self. Again, welcome to Escape Forever Free. Let us pray and continue into this kickstart devotional. Father, we thank you for taking us together again. We are grateful for the opportunity to support each other. Father, we come with our many differences, our many trials, our many um, situations. You have persons here who are members or who themselves are sick in the hospital in very very um varying situations of desperation they need you father i pray god father that you release healing today father especially for those who are giving the effort of sitting up pausing taking the time to stop with you oh god reach your hands into their specific and various situations may they also know that you are waiting for them to come and reason with you even if they're guilty of whatever they're experiencing even if they brought it upon themselves even if we are the cause of it father you are merciful you are forgiven you are not like man and father your desire is for us to prosper and be in good health mentally spiritually physically and our entire being father help us not to be afraid to think that we have gone too far or too low to receive your mercy so father may someone cry out at the end of this video today may someone cry out father and reach out and feel you there i know god disappoints us not even now as we come to your table to eat bread as we read from the great controversy father even though it might be bitter in our mouth let us remember it was sweet in our belly and father all good things or come from heaven above father so we're not we don't need to be afraid of truth and light guide us now into truth and light we pray and may somebody's heart to be convicted that their that their darkness is not light and may they be willing to follow after the truth and light in Jesus' precious name we pray amen all right so we now go into our memory text we also commit a memory text and a hymn to memory each week alongside our reading so this week's memory text comes to us from saint luke 12 and verse 15 and it reads and he said unto them take heed and beware of covetousness for a man's life consists not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth saint luke 12 verse 15 and he said unto them take heed and beware of covetousness for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth all right so we hope god will help us to commit that to memory and to be able to recall it in due season to glorify his name and to edify souls even our very own now we're going to go into 
our great controversy we're doing chapter 12 the french reformation please forgive me if some of my words are not correct in pronunciation i know zit amount of french no french i'm an english patois and spanish speaker so please forgive me all right so we go to chapter 200 and sorry paragraph 214 and we continue from there so here we have a rising up of great and influential men and varying men who are being convinced of the truth and light the reformative message of the time in those dark ages um here the scene of this is france and we are seeing where um persons as as low as um from all dimensions let me say and not use that word from all dimensions from peasants to, to kings and 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 queens and princes are coming into the message and truth and exploring it <clears throat> let us continue to read so we do paragraph 214.1 while left <clears throat> sorry ready while lefeuille continued to spread the light among his students Farrell, as zealous in the cause of Christ as he had been in that of the Pope, went forth to declare the truth in public. A dignitary of the church, the Bishop of Mohon, soon after united with them. Other teachers who ranked high for their ability and learning joined in proclaiming the gospel and it, sorry, in proclaiming the gospel and its one adherence among all classes from the homes of artisans and peasants to the palaces to the palace of the king the sister of francis one then the reigning monarch accepted the reformed faith the king himself and the queen mother appeared for a time to regard with favor and with high hopes the reformers and sorry favor and with high hopes the reformers looked forward to them, sorry, to the time when France should be won to the gospel. But their hopes were not to be realized. Trial and persecution awaited the disciples of Christ. This, however, was mercifully veiled from their eyes. A time of peace intervened that they might gain strength to meet the tempest. And the reformation made rapid progress. The Bishop of Mou labored zealously in his own diocese to instruct both the clergy and the people. Ignorant and immoral priests, priests were removed and so far as possible replaced by men of learning and piety. The Bishop greatly desired that his people might have access to the word of God for themselves and this was soon accomplished. Lefeuille undertook the translation of the New Testament and the very time when Luther's German Bible was issuing from the press in Wittenberg, the French New Testament was published at Mohau. The bishop spared no labor or expense to circulate it among his parishes and soon the peasants of Mo who the peasants of Mo were in possession of the holy scriptures what a beautiful thing when all men can have access to the truth and light in the given to us in the words of god let us continue to read as travelers perishing from thirst welcome the joy welcome with joy a living water spring so did these souls receive the message of heaven the laborers in the field the artisans in the workshop shared their daily toil by talking of the precious truths of the bible at evening instead of resorting to the wine shops they assembled in each other's homes to read god's word and join in prayer and praise <clears throat> A great change was soon manifest in these communities. Though belonging to the humblest class and unlearned and hard-working peasantry, the reforming, uplifting power of divine grace was seen in their lives. Humble, loving, and holy they stood at, as witness to what the gospel will accomplish for those who receive it in sincerity. The light kindled at Mo, sorry, the light kindled at Mo shed its beams afar, 
every day the number of converts was increasing the rage of the hierarchy was for a time held in check by the king who despised who despised the narrow bigotry of the monks but the papist leaders finally prevailed now the stake was set up the bishop of mo forced to choose between the far and recantation accepted the easier path but notwithstanding the leaders fall the leader sorry but notwithstanding the leaders fall his flock remained steadfast many witnessed for the truth amid the flames by their courage and fidelity at the stake these humbled christians spoke to thousands who in days of peace had never heard their testimony can you see here here to comment how in the midst of the affliction of the enemy christ can move his hands to work in favor of his people even greater than they would have been able to accomplish when they were free from the same afflictions let us continue to read it was not alone the humble and the poor that amid suffering and scorn dare to bear witness for christ in the lordly halls of the castle and the palace there were kingly souls by whom truth was valued above wealth or rank or even life knightly armor conceals a loftier and more steadfast spirit than did the bishop's robe and martyr L um louise de Ber D louise de Dickin, Dickin, of n of noble birth a brave and courtly knight he was devoted to study polished in polished in manners and of blameless morals he was quote-unquote says a writer a great follower of the great follower of the papistical constitutions and a great hero of masses and sermons and he crowned all his other virtues by holding lutheranism in special abhorrence but end of quote rather end of quote <clears throat> but like so many others providentially guided by the bible he was amazed to find there not the teachings of popery but the doctrines of luther henceforth he gave himself with entire devotion to the cause of the gospel quote the most sorry let me get that the most learned of the nobles of france his genius and eloquence his indomitable courage and heroic zeal and his influence at court for he was a favorite with the king caused him to be regarded by many as one destined to be the reformer of his country said Bezo, um decon would f have been a second luther had he found in francis one a second elector quote he rose the, he is worse than luther quote cried the papist more dreaded he was indeed by the romanist of france they trust him in a prison they thrust him in prison as a heretic, but he was they thrust him in prison as a heretic, but he was set at liberty by the king. For years the struggle continued. Francis wavering between Rome and Reformation alternately tolerated and restrained the fierce zeal of the monks. The queen or the queen I can't remember the pronunciation i'll come back tomorrow with a better pronunciation was three times imprisoned by the papist authorities let me spell it for you it's b-e-r-q-u-i-n that's the french word was three times imprisoned by the papist authorities only to be released by the monarch who in admiration of his genius and his nobility of character refused to sacrifice him to the malice of hierarchy we stop here for today even though i don't want to but we've gone way over our time man we see how god can truly bring those who are willing 
why his empowerment to work with him in spreading the everlasting gospel let's do our meditation on him 625 higher ground as we bring the segment of our one hour alone time with god to a close we do stanza three i want to live above the world though satan starts at me are hurled for faith has caught the joyful sound the song of saints on higher ground lord lift me up and i shall stand by faith on heaven's table land a higher plane than i have found lord plant my feet on higher ground let us pray heavenly father truly lift our feet on higher ground we're receiving so much encouragement in from the history of these bold and fearless martyr for your truth and like god may we be willing to die and to live for your gospel father for some of us it's easier to live for it and for some of us it's easier to die but god may you empower us in such a way that whether it's to live and stand firm for the standard or to die while holding on to the standard may we all remain faithful may all of us in the hearing of this prayer who so um desire to receive such empowerment and blessing receive it even me lord i beg in Jesus' name amen let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be now and always acceptable in thy sight o lord our strength and our redeemer please continue astutely to search the scriptures and the holy writings to find truth and light and let no man steal or mock your salvation walk good and above all keep the blueprint in hand study it search and seek after truth and light it is in it and thereby walk with god love you all see you in our next video